In August 2023, Russia successfully launched the Moon Lander Luna 25. This event marked the long-anticipated beginning of Russia's comeback in the space race after 47 years of absence. Immediately after the spacecraft was launched, a series of initial images was transmitted back to Earth, suggesting that everything was proceeding according to plan. However, on August 19th, the Russian space agency Roscosmos announced that they had lost contact with the Luna 25 spacecraft. It appeared that the spacecraft had deviated from its planned path, ceased functioning, and crashed onto the moon's surface. Prior to this incident, Russian authorities had planned for Luna 25 to land in the moon's southern polar region on August 21st, with the aim of making their country the first to successfully achieve this feat. Luna 25 represents Russia's inaugural moon mission in 47 years and serves as a pioneering venture in their ambition to establish lunar bases in the future. The Luna 25 spacecraft was propelled by the reliable Soyuz 2.1B rocket, which was launched from the Vostokny Cosmodrome on August 11th. The spacecraft underwent two orbital adjustments on August 12th and August 14th. On August 16th, the spacecraft entered lunar orbit. Just a few days after the successful launch, Roscosmos released the first images sent by the spacecraft. These images are the most recent ones transmitted back to Earth, dated August 17, 2023, and they reveal the landscape near the Moon's southern pole. Luna 25 was scheduled to touch down in the Moon's southern polar region on August 21, 2023. However, it seems that the plan went wrong. Instead of landing in the southern polar region, the spacecraft lost control and crashed onto the moon's surface, marking the mission as a failure. The search and communication attempts with the spacecraft on August 19th and 20th yielded no results. Shortly afterward, Roscosmos established a dedicated internal committee to investigate the causes behind the failure of the Luna 25 spacecraft. The loss of this mission is a significant blow to the Russian space program. Since the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Russia has not successfully sent a probe to the moon. This mission was supposed to change that. Before the Luna 25 spacecraft was launched, Russian scientists had repeatedly complained about the inadequate capabilities of space program managers, with many projects being deemed unrealistic. Over a decade ago, in 2011, Russia embarked on the Phobos Grunt project and endeavored to sample rocks and soil from the moon Phobos of Mars. The plan was for the spacecraft to reach Mars's orbit and, in September 2012, land on the moon, Phobos, in February 2013. Subsequently, it would collect around 200 grams of Phobos moon samples and return to Earth in August 2014. However, in reality, immediately after its launch from Earth on November 8, 2011, the spacecraft failed to activate its propulsion system to escape Earth's orbit. As a result, it plummeted back into the Pacific Ocean. Following the failure of the Phobos Grunt project, many placed their hopes on the Luna 25 program. Not only was it a mission to reassert Russia's position in the space race, but it also showcased Russia's intention to establish a presence in strategic regions. Prior to the launch of Luna 25, the head of the scientific mission group at the Russian Institute for Space Research stated that Luna 25's most crucial mission was, simply put, to venture where no one else has been the Lunar South Pole region. Looking toward the future, Luna 25 was also intended to demonstrate technologies that will be utilized in a series of robotic missions that Russia plans to launch to the Moon. These missions are meant to lay the foundation for a future lunar base in collaboration with China. However, the schedules for those subsequent missions, Luna 26, 27, and 28, have already experienced multiple years of delay, and with the recent failure, further postponements are likely. Roscosmos now faces a challenging decision, whether to relaunch the Luna 25 mission or defer the testing of landing technology and proceed with more ambitious follow-up missions. If Russia opts to reattempt Luna 25, it will likely result in additional years of delay. The reason Russia and all the other agencies are heading to the Lunar South Pole region is because of its unique characteristics. Despite its challenges, the Lunar South Pole region holds significant appeal for future exploration missions and is deemed suitable for a lunar outpost. The permanently shadowed areas on the Moon could potentially contain ice and valuable minerals, 
making them crucial resources for future explorers. The mountain peaks near the pole receive extended periods of illumination and could be harnessed to provide solar energy for an outpost. Establishing an outpost on the moon would enable scientists to analyze water and other volatile systems dating back to the solar system's formation, benefits that are deemed worthy of the risks by agencies worldwide. Furthermore, the lunar South Pole region is the intended landing site for India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. Additionally, this location aligns with NASA's vision for constructing a lunar base in the future. Naturally, both Russia and China also harbor plans to establish bases in the moon's southern region. With the Luna 25 spacecraft's failure, Russia might not be the first country to successfully retrieve samples from the southern region. The competition to collect samples from the southern pole remains unpredictable. India, set to land the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft on August 23, 2023, could potentially take a lead. Alternatively, NASA, China, or the European Space Agency, ESA, might achieve this milestone. However, India appears to hold the most promising position as the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is scheduled to touch down in the moon's southern region in the coming days. According to the announcement by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, on August 20th, the entire landing process will be live-streamed on the agency's website, state television, and various social media platforms, such as Facebook and YouTube. The Chandrayaan-3 exploration mission was launched on July 14, 2023. It entered lunar orbit on August 5th. Subsequently, on August 17th, the lander and rover separated from the spacecraft to descend to the lunar surface. The mission is expected to last for 40 days, with a planned landing near the moon's southern pole on August 23rd, 2023. The spacecraft will then conduct exploration and experiments in the southern polar region for two weeks. Many are pinning their hopes on India, an emerging player in the space exploration race. However, of course, anything can happen. It's important to recall that on July 22nd, 2019, India also launched the Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft to the moon with the goal of landing near the southern pole. Unfortunately, before the landing attempt, the spacecraft deviated from its intended orbit and crashed onto the moon, resembling the situation with Russia's Luna 25. Hopefully, India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft will successfully touch down, marking the first successful human landing in the moon's southern polar region. Many believe that Russia might have rushed the Luna 25 mission, eager to be the first to land in the moon's southern region. Despite Luna 25 being launched 28 days after India's Chandrayaan-3, its landing schedule was advanced by two days. This hasty approach could have contributed to Russia's failure in the Luna 25 mission. What are your thoughts on this matter? Please feel free to share your opinions in the comment section below.